What's up everybody? My name is Adam Muir and today I want to talk to you about the seven magical things that I hope to see in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Number one, the first thing that I, I would like to see in Harry Potter Wizards Unite is we'll kind of start with the background, the interface of the game. So I'd like to see kind of a Marauder's Map I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good style background. So instead of like the the green and gray of Pokemon Go, have it all Marauder's Mappy. Kind of like this picture brought to you by Brett Tendo, who put it together. Um, I think it's a very good design. Um, you see your see your house in the bottom corner. Um, have your little home button in the middle, and then all over you see all of your stops and um, your real world map. So I think that would be pretty cool. The second thing that I really hope that we see in Harry Potter Wizards Unite is kind of a house integration with Pottermore. Because so many people have already taken the Pottermore quiz. I feel like they're already attached to those, those particular houses like I am with Gryffindor. Um, another thing that, that would be kind of cool with this is instead of just using the Hogwarts houses, Maybe choose different schools, kind of like, um, so for England, they use Hogwarts, and for America, we use Ilvermorny, or, um, or Bobotons, or, or really any of, I think there's seven different wizarding schools across the, uh, across the world at this point. Another thing that we could do to take it one step farther than putting you into different schools or houses would be also allowing you to choose a profession. So you could be an or a wand maker, you could be a joke shop runner, anything like that. I think that would be really cool. The third magical thing that I would love to see in Harry Potter Wizards Unite would be beast catching. So if you've read this book or seen the movies of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them uh, with Newt Scamander, you know that he had been traveling the world in the 1920s trying to find all of the fantastic beasts that that he could to show people that they're not as bad as, as some people think and if you treat them the right way they're not going to be dangerous. Spiffies are not dangerous! But I think it'd be really cool if we could go out such as like Pokemon Go and search and catch all of these beasts. Number four, this is going to be wizarding duels. So something we have been wishing for for so long in Pokemon Go PvP. When are, will we be able to duel other wizards? Will we be able to fight beasts against one another? Which I don't think that's really how it works in the magical world, but wizarding duels definitely do work so you can fight other people. So that would just be a really cool addition to the game. And I think it's, it's probably pretty easily doable, but they don't have to be right next to each other. I don't think you need to be right next to your other wizard in order to battle them. I played a little bit of Draconius Go uh, back when it came out and they had PvP so something similar to that I think Niantic could easily implement into a wizarding duel for, for Wizards Unite. And for number five, a huge part of the, all of the Harry Potter stories and everything in the wizarding world is all driven by kind of your tasks so get, getting a quest so I would love to see quests in, in Wizards Unite. Um, and I mean, you could do daily quests, so something that's pretty easily doable, like catch 10 beasts or whatever, and you get a Deathly Hollow, or you can find a piece of a Horcrux, or just something, something of the sort like that. I think it, and then you could also do longer ones where you do have to find a whole Horcrux, or you have to go searching for um, a Deathly Hollow, trying to find the Elder Wand, or you know anything like that. I think that would be a that'd be a great great plan for for this game. And for number six, I think it would be really cool if we could learn spells. So spells are would be very implemental in wizarding duels. So either fighting at I don't know what it'll be, but uh, something like a gym in Pokemon Go. So fighting other wizards. Um, PvP, if we have PvP and do some wizarding duels with other people, you can only know so many 
so many spells. Um, and you have to perfect a spell before it can be used in battle. And I think, I think a couple different ways of trying to learn these spells would either be by drawing the spell, like in the Fantastic Beast game, uh, Cases of the Wizarding World. Um, so something like this, so you'd have to just kind of draw whatever it was, the Obliviate or um, the Scourgeify, whatever. Um, and then something that would be really cool, might be weird for a lot of people going out in public with this, but is a Bluetooth wand. So kind of like a Pokemon Go Plus, except you have your wand and it can sense those movements. So it can sense you doing a Scourgeify, it can sense you doing Alohomora. Alohomora! And you have to get those movements perfected in order to do the spell, which would be really cool. I think it'd be kind of weird to see two people doing uh, some actual wizarding duels in public. But I think it'd be really fun to do. And my seventh magical hope for Harry Potter Wizards Unite would be Apparition. So, apparition, you may think when you hear that, oh, he just means spoof. I don't. I do not mean spoofing. Spoofing is, is not cool. Um, it kind of changes the game for, for everyone who actually plays it um, in the real way where you walk around. But what I'm talking about for apparition is something sort of like a 30-minute deal where you click it, you turn it on, and instead of going to diagonally, you go to nocturnally. Diagonally. And there are different beasts there that you can't catch in your normal Wizarding World or Diagon Alley side of things. Um, and you can only catch it in the Nocturne Alley sort of thing, um, and vice versa. But 30 minutes, um, probably a purchasable item at that point. You can, I would hope that you'd be able to find it in the game as well, like from a stop or, or whatever. Or even if you can't spin it or anything, you get it from a stop. Maybe you, you have one free one every 21 hours like they, like they did for um, how many coins you get at the beginning of Pokemon Go. So you could, you could get your coins every 21 hours. You could get 100 coins depending on how many Pokemon you had in gyms. But that's, that's a whole other topic. I think it would be really cool to, to operate to a different dimension of sorts. Um, Nocturnality. I think it would be pretty cool. See darker stuff. See get hints for, for those quests um, in Nocturne Alley, kind of spying in Borgen and Burks like they do in the Harry Potter movies. Um, just something like that. I think that would be really, really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave your comments below of what you hope to see in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And thank you so much for watching. Please follow along with me on, on this by subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram, it's all just Adam the Or. I'll have the links down below as well, just in case you want to kind of see down there. Uh, but again, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you have a magical day.